<laughs> if you're running low on time and still haven't found that perfect toy to wrap up this season, we may be able to help. Marianne Szymanski is here from ToyTips.com with a range of toys for any child. Welcome, Marianne. Thank you. Great to have you. Now, this is a talking baby. Baby Bright Eyes by Playmates. Big Bright Eyes. She looks like one of those keen paintings. Look at her eyes. Oh, they're so Now, pretty. what's really neat, though, is it uses nano muscle technology. Oh, so her cute. eyelids and, and her she eyes She looked at move. me. She did. She, she changed. Wow, that's cool. How do I get them to move? Well, you have to put, first of all, you got to feed her. Feed her. And okay. then she talks to Mama. And Baba. her eyes will move when she oh. holds her teddy bear. Now, what ages are these dollies good for? Well, you know what? Really, a child at about age three is really into the whole nurturing, being a mama. Yeah. So yeah. these kinds of dolls are great for little kids. They, they'll use them for role playing up through about three to six, seven years old. Yeah, my kids have certainly grown out of dolls, but it was fun when they were little because they really did like yeah, doing that whole thing. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Oh, she just. That's so cool. They're very realistic eyes. Very Baby realistic. Baby bright eyes. You Baby said? bright eyes. Using How much is she? Technology. Well, it depends on the store that you get them from, but she'll be less than a hundred dollars. <laughs> Nano muscle technology we've had on the screensavers is very cool. It's a neat idea and uh, used for a lot of things, not just toys. Yeah, okay, let's turn her off right now. <laughs> because we're going to move on to this, which I really loved. This is Total Meltdown from Radica. Sh tell me how this works. Okay, this is a challenging game. It's a strategy game. Okay. And what you have to do is, first of all, you turn it on, but it's going to make a lot of noise. That's all right. So let's know. turn it on. All right, and... You take Basically, we're going to save the world, right? The idea is the first challenge you have is to actually put these circuits in in order. So okay. when you attach them in, you'll know if you do it right because you have to test it and it'll give you signals okay. to see if you did or not. So anyway, so the first I so this is kind of that, like mastermind, is right, what it is. And you have to get that done so all correctly see, before you move I, to the next let's one. Let's see if I got it right. Okay, you press the button, and by the way, the time. Oh wait a minute, there. The timer. Oh, I, how do I turn it on? Is it on? I thought I turned it on. Maybe we killed oh, the batteries. Yeah, there we go. Time's okay. running out. Did you hear it say? Okay. So then we, we test it. And we test it to see if... So it's not right. So you have to switch those around right. to make sure so, they're all right. Oh, see, this one's right, but these were wrong, and you got to move around. Okay, when you get okay. that right, then, then you, you get to go to this. It. And you have to put the computer chips in, and you have to put them in exactly correctly. Only certain ones fit. Right. Okay, then after you do that... Then you have to crack the code. Secret code, which is kind of like Simon, because it, it Simon, plays yeah. it, and then you put it back. And then, when you get that all done, you have to lift this out, right? You remove the center core, but you cannot touch the sides. So if you get it out, <laughs> it has to be perfect. But the fun thing about it is you can challenge brothers, sisters, mom, dad. It's just a fun it's really game fun. to do you play think alone it, or against someone. Do you think it has more play value than just one time, though? I mean, that's the only thing I'd worry about is once you've solved it, you've solved it, haven't no, you? No, you have to. It, it's all about challenging your time. So if oh, you so get you it done it maybe in like three minutes, you want to try it for two minutes. Yeah, so there's a lot of... This is like bop. Good. Remember bop it? That was yeah. a great toy. This yes. is kind of like that. How much is a uh, total meltdown? That will be under $40. Not, that's a little pricey, but you know, I think this is the kind of thing kids come over on Christmas Day or, Han or you know, one of the Hanukkah days, and they'll come over and everybody will want to play it. Right. And it kind of does look like a dreidel. You it's just a fun game that you can like have <laughs> once you open it and play it right away. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of play, this one looks like it'd be a lot of fun. Secret Agent. This is a forensic lab. This is like the new modern chemistry set. It's made by Discovery Stores. Who done it, lab? And the idea is there's six cases that you have to crack, and there's all sorts of different specimens that are included. There's fake blood, and all it's oh, not real blood, neat. fake blood, and all sorts of different things. So the idea is to really yeah. use science while you're learning at the same time. This does the chem lab, the chemistry set, one better. One better. And because it's, there's, it's, it's a game involved. You're trying to crack yeah, cases. It's like CSI. Wow. Yeah, really and, fun. And how many, so they give you a case in these envelopes, and then you have to solve them. Yeah, well, you have to solve the case, and then the, it, the idea is to solve the case using the information that's involved I here. But, it. you know, there's a whole process involved. You yeah. don't know if you're necessarily cool. going to be able to do it. Comes with these six anyway, so, yep. oh, that's fun. Oh, this is fun. I think kids would love this. Jungle Town Jailbreak Cracked. So that's really cool. They give you all the information. Yep. And you got to solve it. How much is and that going to be? This is going to be about eighty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Everything's around, you know, seventy five to one hundred bucks, isn't it? These days. Everything's different because stores do not have the same. Nobody price, so charges like list price. price. Yep, right. Got right. it. Now this right. is fun. We had some fun setting this one up. This sky rail is a sky rail suspension set. The great thing about this toy is it's really a science based toy that teaches motion and physics. So it's a marble run and it glows in the dark. If we had all the lights out, you could see that it glows in the we dark. We had a marble run, and you know, the Discovery Toys marble run. That was a lot of fun when they were littler, but this one takes more effort, right? Oh, because definitely. This is really appropriate for kids starting about age eight. And the idea is to build it. So you're using fine motor skills, hand eye right. coordination, and you can, it comes up. With enough in, um, enough product to make 40 feet of tracks, so you can wow. put it anywhere around your bedroom, around the couch. Yeah, we kind of we bend it around so make yeah. it to fit on our table, and then you get different weights and sizes of these marbles, 
T now, they said do the white one because it, we haven't yet figured it out how to get the heavy metal ball to work. Let me see if this one will work. Because it was going flying off. Go. Whoa, that's the tough curve. Oh, it made it. Oh, hey, nice. Oh, we got to work on a little bit more. It falls off here. But that's the whole point is that you adjust this right and then you get it just right. right. Oh, that's fun. So it's science-based technology, but you're really, it's a building set for fun, but you're learning about motion and physics. Another one, uh, I hope Henry's not watching. I think this is another good one for... Uh, for Henry. Now, from Leapfrog, do we have this that? This is for Where little is kids. Yeah. Now, this is karaoke machine. We turn it on. <laughs> that Oops. seems like a bad idea. <laughs> no, it's fun. Here you go. All right. Press the button and they can talk. The neat thing about this is that it teaches phonics, numbers, songs. So let's say we turn it to songs and then we press the song that we want. So this is for little kids? Well, preschool kids starting at about age four. But you know what? The whole family can really jump in on this, too. You can sing with your kids. See how fun? <laughs> it's fun. You know, the funnest thing for the kids would be getting mom and dad to do this and That's laughing the idea. at them. You yeah, play yeah, together. yeah, yeah. A lot of social interaction. I love that. That's really very cool. And really teaches music awareness at a young age, which is good because that's important. Leapfrog does some really good learning stuff. Yeah, they don't have they? really they're, great they're educational in, toys. Neat All the toys that we've tested with Leapfrog have always came up with fabulous reviews. You, and I should really emphasize that. That's what ToyTips.com does. Is you, you get these toys. There are a lot of toys. You test them. Press an arrow to play a song. Okay. Bye bye. That's the first thing you learn is how to turn the thing off. <laughs> you test these and make sure that they really do what they say they're going to do, right. that they're, they're, they're safe and all that stuff. Right. We have over 500 testing centers oh, around the country great. with schools. And what we do is we take an actual toy and we test it with lots of children. We had over 12,000 children this year to make sure it does what it's supposed right. to do, that kids f have fun and play right. with it, and that they learn. That we want to know what they Our whole thing is we want to know what you're learning. You're spending money on a right. toy. You want to know what your child's going to learn That's from great. it. For instance, this, this, this uh, the Save the World game, Oh, I look at it and say, well, you're going to play that once or twice. But in your testing, you found that kids really enjoyed this. And right, it more again than and again. once. Well, yeah. what we found out, which was really surprising, is kids were challenging each other. That was a fun thing. That's neat. Once they learned how to do it, they had to beat this now, buddy and that buddy and yeah. this buddy. Yeah. So that That's was a lot great. of fun. Wild Planet's always done some fun stuff, kind of in the science spy realm. What is this? This is the Island Communicator. You put it on, it's okay. a headset. Okay. And you have to put it on right near your eye. Because like oh, there's a screen in here. Yeah, a there's screen. a screen in there. Okay. It has a wristband. You can put it anywhere on your arm or on your elbow. Okay. And the idea is to send a message to your friends. You send in a message, press send, and the. Do I see the message in here? You see the message in the eye. Oh piece. yeah, it says see? ready. Yeah. So wow. then, what happens is when you send the message, your friend will see it, and it works up to 200 feet away. So you can be in the backyard, oh. outside, running around. What fun this would be, huh? Yeah. Resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. This is great. Now, this is appropriate for kids, but you really have to know how to spell. So you don't want to give it to a what child ages? that can't spell. Well, you know, when kids eight, start nine, to spell, ten. well, between six, seven, and eight yeah. is appropriate. But, you know, you want to, and you also kind of want to monitor kids and make sure that they're spelling things that are appropriate <laughs> and saying things. There's no bad word filter. Because parents aren't involved there. Just the two kids are saying Oh, what it. the heck. There's a kid playing with it. I think this sounds like a lot of fun. Better, better than the walkie-talkie because they're learning how to read and write. Right. And that's kind of neat. And they're talking to each other in writing, which they're going to be doing with computers when they get a little bit older. Once again, Marianne, some wonderful toys. I think this is, all of these would be great under the tree or for Hanukkah or for Kwanzaa or whatever you do to celebrate the, the, uh, the winter solstice. For more information on any of the toys we feature today, check out our website, techtv.com slash call for help. We've got links, prices, everything you need to know to add these to your list. And I've written down at least two or three of these in my Christmas giving notebook because they Good. look like fun, yeah. Come, oh, by the way, thank you, Marianne, for being here. And, and we should give credit to uh, Mary Ann's uh, 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 airline. You flew out on a beautiful jet from Midwest, Midwest Airlines. Airlines. They did from a nice Milwaukee. job. Wonderful. And they make homemade chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I love it plane. when they do that on the plane. And then the whole plane smells like cookies. Oh, and it's so tasty. <gasps> you got to have one. And then you're staying in town the w Hotel. at the W. All right. Yes. I want to give them both credit because they do a nice job taking care of you when you come out here. Now, coming up next, if you're having trouble finishing that fusion reactor you're building in your basement, man, I know how that is. We can't help you, though. Kat did find a site that will help you learn all about all physics online, maybe give you the tips you need. And still ahead, a free digital camera utility to make your life a whole lot easier. It'll do everything for you except take the picture. Stick around. We'll be right back. This is fun. Now, maybe I could get baby uh, cries a lot to do the karaoke, and then I would be sad, right? <laughs> baby bright eyes. <laughs>